Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Today we're going to take a look at an app that's been around for a while, but recent updates have added a whole bunch of new features. It's called Boat Browser, and we're going to check it out right now. Let's talk about what this browser is capable of doing. First and foremost, it is a browser and therefore is capable of doing all the usual browser things like bookmarks, history, adding new tabs, and you know, browsing the web. Where this app really shines are the other things that you can do. To start, there is an app store built into Boat Browser, much like Opera Browser. You can search for apps, games, themes, and add-ons. The apps and games are nothing special, but the themes and add-ons can help turn the browser into a much more customized experience. Another great feature are the gestures. You can and create your own or just use the ones that come stock to control the browser. In many cases, for sites or actions you perform regularly, gesturing can be much faster. For instance, to go to Google, you can just draw a lowercase g. The last thing we'll talk about are some of the newer features. You can back up your bookmarks to cloud storage or to your SD card and transfer them between devices. This can be set up to be done automatically as well. It can also pair with Firefox browser to import bookmarks if you'd rather do it that way. So you may be wondering how you can use this. Well, it is a browser, so you can use it like a browser. It can compete feature for feature with a lot of the big name browsers. It has add-ons like Firefox, various bookmark syncing methods like Chrome, and an app store like Opera. This allows for a comprehensive browsing experience. It also helps having small things like gesture controls, day and night modes, and theming. This allows for a more unique browsing experience than many browsers offer, and it also happens to be pretty quick in the web browsing department. So here's what we liked about it. The new bookmark syncing options are a phenomenal step forward. You really can't have a good browser these days unless you have a number of ways of syncing, importing, and exporting bookmarks. Boat Browser does that. We really liked the gesture controls. The stock ones are useful, but you can create a gesture for any action or website within the browser. We created one that went to AndroidAuthority.com when we swiped a lowercase a, and we imagined people could get a lot out of functionality like that. The last thing are the small things, like theming and add-ons. Like the bookmark Mark syncing, the best browsers these days have add-ons and themes. The selection is small for now, but we imagine it'll grow over time. Add-ons add functionality and themings help you customize the look. These are all good things. So here is what we didn't enjoy so much. First and foremost is the design. There is nothing inherently wrong with it because it is just like all the other ones, and that is the problem. It is just like the other ones. It looks very much like the Opera browser with the speed dial front page and the tab placement. The design isn't bad and the customization helps, but if you wanted something that looked different, you may be disappointed. The only other thing we could find wrong were the gesture controls can be a little fluky. For instance, gesturing the G to go to Google took me several tries before it finally worked. You have to be pretty on the money with the gesture controls, otherwise they won't work. It's not a deal breaker, but sloppiness is not an option with the gesture controls. Overall, Boat Browser is actually a great browser. If you're getting tired of the stock offering or the third-party browser you've been using, then we recommend you give this one a shot. It's quick, it's packed with features, and there are both paid and free options, so you can take it for a test drive before you buy the features. The design is pretty typical for browsers these days, but it does come with add-ons and themes to help liven things up a little bit. When it's all said and done, it's a pleasant browsing experience and one we would recommend. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. You can find the written companion to this video along with the social media links in the video description. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.